Tonight, we continue our series, Cost of Crisis, looking at the human cost of fires in the zone, Phoenix's largest homeless encampment. Thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Tram Mai. I'm Jonathan McCall. The I-Team's Erica Stapleton is exposing the ripple effect the problem can have, along with possible solutions. The latest fire here had no physical injuries, but burned multiple tent spaces and displaced three people who already have nowhere else to go. We got a tent fire out here at 9th Avenue in Jackson. A neighbor watching in horror. Before you say a tent fire? As crews race to smother flames at 9th Avenue Jackson again. And I doused the flames with, uh, with a gallon of water, but I need more water, and um, there wasn't any on hand. Ninde Michaels tried to put the tent fire out herself, fueled by fear as her belongings burned. The way they see it, it's, like, it's just trash, but it's not. It's all I have right now. Her torch tent, remnants of the third fire on this block in just a week, and one of 13 911 calls for a fire so far this month in the zone, Phoenix's largest homeless encampment. A 12 News I team analysis of key blocks in the zone shows that November has had the most 911 calls for fires this year, and all of those calls for fires so far in 2022 have already surpassed last year's total in the same neighborhood. We be cold at night, and during the day we. Probably cooking. James said he's been living in the zone on and off for the past five years. This year, the population in the encampment tripled, at some points surpassing a thousand people. And James has noticed more fires getting out of control. You catch on fire so quick, it's, and it they pops, and that's how it, they go from tent to tent to tent to tent to tent. Earlier this month, he says his tent was spared, while his neighbors burned down. But at this rate, he's worried a devastating fire is inevitable. I know what, what would, would probably help mostly is finding some kind of warmness, some kind of something to keep us warm. That's our biggest problem. In the summer, there are temporary cooling centers around the county for heat relief. But when it comes to the winter months, there aren't special spaces for heat. And the city and county say they rely on existing shelter space, but that's often at capacity. It's pretty hard, you know. Ninde says it's already tough to find a shelter that will take both her and her partner. And even in this emergency situation, shelter space is still limited. I've been, I've been crying on and off all morning, but it, just, it really sucks, you know. She says she's on a wait list for housing, but plans to cram into a neighbor's tent in the meantime. The human cost of this encampment hazard. I can understand why people would be concerned about all this stuff going on here, but we don't want to be out here as much as you guys want us out here. We learned in a community meeting that providers like the Human Services Campus have been working with the police and fire departments to try and equip people in tents with tools to fight fires like fire extinguishers. But that also comes with concerns of misuse. We're in Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.